What is up YouTube? Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers and tech. And for this special episode, we're going to do a review of the Solar Glide from Adidas. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because the moment we hit 30,000 subscribers, we will be doing another giveaway. I'll reveal the details in the coming day. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram. Well, the Solar Glide is meant for long distance runners. For me, being a casual runner and more of a lifestyle sneaker guy, I really have to say that this is one of the best lifestyle and casual running sneakers I've seen and I've worn for the last few months. The Solar Glide is severely underrated and overlooked. Why? Because its older brother, the Solar Boost, is the hero product of the campaign. It's also the most expensive one at 8,000, while this one just sells for 6,500 pesos. Now, this is actually proof that more affordable products are not necessarily more inferior. It's just that each kind of product has different kinds of feature sets, and you might actually find a better match for products that are a little more affordable than the more expensive ones depending on what is it that you are looking for a sneaker. I'll do a more in-depth comparison of the Solar Glide with the Solar Boost in the coming days but please guys, I am not a performance runner, I am not a running athlete, whatever, I'm a casual runner, I'm in the process of trying to lose weight and running is my fit, you know, what I'm trying to do to do it together with diet. So I do have some experience, but it's not as hardcore as a lot of other runners, but I'll try my best to put links down below of actual performance reviews of other YouTubers should you want more hardcore reviews. Let's get to the shoe. For the upper, you have an engineered, stretchable, breathable mesh upper that really covers the entire shoe. It has some sort of ribbing here at the forefoot, which gives not just added containment and lockdown, but it also gives it a really nice texture in terms of look and feel of the shoe. You have the familiar three stripes over here with some sort of, I don't know, uh, it feels like some sort of fuse overlay that keeps the containment of the midfoot and the lockdown a little more secure compared to a lot of other sneakers out there. Moving down, and this is where it actually becomes a little more special, before you hit the boost material, which is I think most of you are already familiar with, you see this thin blue line over here. This is the solar propulsion rail system. I think that's what Adidas calls it. In essence, this is actually an EVA, I don't know, insert that stretches in between. And the reason why this is important is because it actually helps with the overall structure and the way that your feet lands when you are running. Well, what do I mean? Uh, I have an old Ultra Boost, which is pretty much like three, four years old already. And the, the Boost material is pretty much generated into some sort of very loose and mushy material. And that's the problem, I think, with a lot of the Ultra Boost shoes. A lot of runners, or at least some runners, uh, me included, uh, are actually complaining that it can be a little bit loose over time. And the guidance of the foot is not that good, especially if you're a little bit bigger like me. What happens is your foot kind of moves like that and there's no solid pathway moving forward when you are running. That changes with the solar propulsion railing system that you have here. This gives better guidance to you when you are walking, when you are running, or when you're, you know, just every, every step that you take. That I think is the beauty of this very simple insert that Adidas put on both sides. So I think that that's one of the nicest innovations that they had with the solar line. And down, of course, you have the familiar Boost midsole. You have thousands of Boost capsules all there, providing excellent cushioning when you guys are running or when you are walking. Moving down, you have the familiar Continental rubber outsole together with the FlexiWeb stretch web. Now, all of that combined adds up for added durability, traction and of course with the overall structure and durability of the boost foam midsole now we move to the more subjective part of the review the design and i think this is where this particular shoe shines a little more if you're looking for something that's a little more subdued that doesn't take the attention away from your entire outfit i think the solar glide is a fantastic casual sneaker to have in your arsenal it's also very versatile and it provides additional extremely good value for money because this is the type of shoe that you can wear on a casual day at work and then when you get home you know you still have it on you can do a quick round around the village or around where you are because it is first first and foremost 
a running sneaker. And I think that gives it so much more versatility, so much more depth, and so much more use cases compared to, for example, your typical NMD. You spend a little more to even get an NMD, and yet it's primarily a lifestyle sneaker. You can't use it for running. Well, you can, but it's not really built for running the same way that this shoe is. And that's the reason why I think I love the Solar Glide. At 6,500 pesos, it's a fantastic buy for people who can't afford to buy so many shoes. You know what I mean? If, if you're just looking for one sneaker, for example, for the next few months or the year, this is probably a good option because it looks hella fire, it looks subtle, it's easy to dress up with that design and that look, and at the same time, it can double, eh, wait, nah, does it actually double? Because it's, again, it's primarily a running shoe. You can work out in this, you can run in this, you can go to marathons in this. It's that good of a sneaker to have. So there's nothing really bad about it. In fact, if you ask me, this trumps the Powerface Calabasas, this trumps a lot of the other shoes out there from you know the superstars and the NMDs and the EQTs mainly because of the so much value that you get for the price that you pay for the Solar Glide. And that's why I think it's such a severely underrated and you know overlooked sneaker. Again, sometimes guys, the most expensive sneaker in a lineup isn't necessarily the best one for you. This is proof of that. And that's it for this vlog. I hope you guys found this, I don't know, educational and informative and helpful and at the same time, hopefully a little bit entertaining. Uh, and I hope you're all having a great week ahead. I will be announcing my 30,000 subscriber giveaway in a few days. So please make sure that you stay tuned for that. It will be really, really fun. I'm, I'm psyched to announce it. I'm just, you know, finalizing the details so that it's a little, a little bit firmer compared to what I originally had in mind. So that's it for now. Peace. God bless.